to Paris. It is 9.35 in the morning, Paris time, which means it's like, I think a little after midnight or like 1 a.m. Seattle time. So technically I should be asleep or at least my body should be asleep, you know? I think because it's light outside, it's kind of tricking my brain. Like I'm tired, but I'm not like feeling a lot of fatigue. Previously when I had done a Paris trip, I worked New York to Paris and you leave like in the evening in New York and I think it's a little harder for your brain and your body to process but because I left in the middle of the day I left at like noon or 1 p.m. Seattle time my brain is just like oh it's still the daytime now that being said um, when it comes to a few hours from now when it's like 5 a.m. where I came from I think my brain and my body might be telling me a different story <laughs> amazing thing about this layover is that Sam actually took the Salt Lake to Paris flight so he landed about 30 minutes after me so he wasn't able to take the same transportation that my crew took to the hotel so he is on the train he won't be here for probably about an hour we don't have any crazy plans I know the one thing I want to do is go to Shakespeare and Co the bookshop here in Paris if you've seen the before trilogy, like before sunrise, before sunset, and before, what was the last one called? Dawn? Before dawn? I think it's before dawn. I can't remember. Anyway, that is the bookshop that they start at, at the beginning of the second movie, which is before sunset. And it's also, I think it's just right next to Notre Dame. And there's also a little cafe connected to it now. And so I think that's for sure the like one place I want to hit. But outside of that, I don't have anything in mind really, we'll see. But I think for me right now, I'm going to like wash my face and put on new makeup, slowly make my way out there. It is unfortunate this time around, I did not get a Eiffel Tower facing view room like I did last time. And if you have not seen that vlog, it is one of my favorite vlogs, I love it so much. But I got an Eiffel Tower facing room and I remember showing up because we landed around like 1 p.m. or something. I remember showing up to the hotel and being so exhausted and just wanting to nap. And I just like looked right out the window and I saw, I could see the Arc du Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower. And I just remember being like, oh yeah, I'm not tired anymore. Like it like invigorated me. So we shall see what the plan is today, but I am um, very excited to take us all along on this Parisian journey. I love this place so much, so I'm excited. Go to the Shakespeare and Co. bookshop. Look at how gorgeous this is. One sec. Shakespeare and Co, obviously, as you saw, 
and I got a really cool hardback edition of The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, I haven't seen it before, so it's really cool. And then I also got this, this cool little tote bag here. We got some food at the little cafe attached to Shakespeare and Company bookshop. And now we're just kind of wandering, just wandering, looking for places to take photos or something, potentially stopping by the Louvre. We shall see. I guess 47 in Paris feels like uh, 20 in the States because it is icicles, bone chilling, freezing cold. We came to, I forget what it's called, it's like Jardin uh, Royale, P Palais Royale, something like that. Anyways, it's a place I wanted to come see. Oh, the pigeons are coming to us. Hello, pigeons. Anyways, the next place I've never been was the Louvre. I've always wanted to go to the Louvre and it's very cold outside and because it have been up like the entire night if you stop and sit that's when you get tired. You gotta keep going. So I think we've decided to go to the Louvre because it's only 17 euro and I've never been. So let's go see what the Louvre is all about. I think also the most important part of going to the Louvre other than to see the art that I've never seen before which is cool is the fact that it's indoors. Oh <laughs> we had two <laughs> I mean, I knew it was indoors. Like. I mean that too, that too, obviously. Clean bathroom, I guess, clean toilet. But it's indoors, so it won't be freezing. really cool saw the Mona Lisa it's one of those things where it's like I don't understand it but like it's one of the most famous things That's in so the entire cool. world so hyped. that it was really cool to see in person but like you still don't understand it other than that I think we are headed to the Eiffel Tower area and then after that probably grab some food and we'll see where we go from there probably go to bed yeah Sam is <laughs> Sam is dying to be fair I'm very extremely extremely tired too but like I've kind of trained my body to go through these days, these transoceanic layover days, so yeah.
looking real classy here. <laughs> I did not record a single thing that we did at dinner, which was just eat, but you know what I mean. Yeah. We started talking to the couple that was sitting next to us, so I didn't want to whip out my vlog camera, but we just ate at a cafe. I got some plain old spaghetti. And now, it was. And now we're walking past Eiffel Tower, as you can see, but we're freezing. And it's only like 6.30, almost 7. But we're gonna slowly make our way back to the hotel, just cause we're freezing. Might try and stop for snacks on the way there, but we shall see. It's about 7.30 right now, and I kind of woke up at like 6.25 naturally, because I think I fell asleep at like 9.45 or something like that, and so it was just plenty of sleep. It's just time to pack up. Pickup time is at 8.55, so it's like an hour and 20 from now, and Sam is actually gonna leave sooner. He's gonna take the train and go to the airport to take the earlier flight back to Salt Lake, so let's go. Time to get ready. 